One day left until the election, and a campaign mistake could mean big trouble for Boris. That's what I want to talk about in this video. So, let's get started! Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new quick Brexit video. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, click this uh, little bell and the notifications so you won't miss another Brexit video. As a politician myself, holding a seat here in my local council and having been standing in an election, I know that one day in an election campaign is a very long time and you can mess up big time as well. And it could be that Boris Johnson and his health minister did exactly that and that could get them into trouble. Of course, we don't have new polls to see what happened in these polls since Monday, but an event probably many of you have heard about so far that could really be damaging. There was a little four-year-old boy with pneumonia in a hospital and they didn't have a bed for him, so they just put him on the floor and treated him there. That was supposed to show the state of the NHS lately when the press published that. That was bad enough already. Of course, you can say the NHS is so bad, that's why Boris Johnson wants to get 31,000 more nurses. We got that straight already in an interview with Boris Johnson. It's not 50,000, it's 31,000. And wants to change the funding, build new hospitals and stuff like that. He said that before. But his reaction when he was approached by a journalist because of this photo of this four-year-old boy on the hospital floor, his reaction was really the worst thing he could do as a politician a few days before a general election. The journalist showed him the photo on his phone and what did Boris Johnson do? Did he show compassion for the parents? Did he say that's exactly the reason why we want all this for the NHS and so on and so on? No. He ignored it, although he was told what it is, and put the phone in his pocket. It's not even his phone. And that is a grave mistake. You have to show empathy as a politician in a case like that. Of course, he would have had a lot of ammunition from his manifesto to say that is why we're doing that, that and that. But you can't just ignore a sick four-year-old boy lying on a hospital floor because the NHS is that badly funded that there's for a sick kid like that, not even in winter, not getting a bed or even a trolley or whatever in hospital. And just to emphasize this, this is not my pure personal view. Of course, my experience as a politician gets in there, but that is quite an objective view on a situation like that. Especially when the Secretary of Health even made it worse. When he was asked about the incident with Boris Johnson there, ignoring the photo of the little boy and putting the po uh, phone of the journalist in his pocket, the secretary made up a story of being attacked by Labour supporters. The BBC brought that and had to apologize for it later because it was just made up. And now that we are the personal view, personally as a politician, I only have one word for a thing like this a few days before an election and that is completely stupid. You can't make up stories you can easily get caught for and then try to avoid another mistake your candidate has made. That's not the way you can repair stuff like that. But I'm absolutely sure that this was damaging. We will, of course, see on Thursday how everything ended up. But it, the reaction of Boris Johnson to the picture and the reaction of the Secretary of Health made it much harder for the Tories to win. I'm quite sure about this because I'm absolutely sure the enemies will the whole day today use that to attack the Prime Minister, his lack of empathy, his lack of appreciation for other people's items and whatever they own, whatever they have. That is ammunition. Me as an enemy, political enemy of course, that would be a gift and I of course would use that. That's campaigning. I'm honest about that. If we get a gift like that, we use it. My enemies do that too, so <laughs> why shouldn't I? No, but that's just politics. And that's something someone publicly did. What's not okay is if you use um, other politicians' private life. Some of my enemies tried that. That's something I wouldn't do. 
that's the same with the domestic thing with Boris Johnson that the others try to use more and more often. That's something I wouldn't use, but that's a different kind of campaigning for everybody. I don't like stuff like that. We say throwing mud at others and I say that's not the way politics should work. But nevertheless, it will be harmful. We will see tomorrow if that harmed the Tories that much that they don't get the majority that was predicted a week ago by all the polls. But we have to be curious until tomorrow. For now, I thank you for watching. Have a nice day and see you soon.